Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to tell you about a very special project that we've been working on for the last 14 months that I think you're going to find really interesting. So about a year and a half ago, I sat down with the team here at Drone Valley, and we designed a lot of accessories and other high-tech gear just to make life a little bit easier. And I threw a challenge at them. I said, I'm looking at all my portable electronics that I take with me out in the field, and I've got to charge all of these at home. And it seems to me that every piece of gear I have, whether it be my smart controller, my drone, my phone, my tablet, my cameras, all require a different charger. And that didn't make a lot of sense to me because I should have one charger that can charge everything. So I said, can you build me a charger that I can use to charge all of my gear, no matter what it is, I'm gonna plug it in and fully charge it before I head out for the day. So they looked at me and said, sure, we can build that. We just need to know what kind of power you want in the charger, what kind of connection you want in the charger, and more importantly, what kind of charging you want that charger to do. So I had to think about it a minute and they've got a point because wattage is important. Do I want a really big charger to handle all the big stuff, but then I don't need a big charger to charge smaller things like the Mini 3 or my phone or my tablet. So do I decide to just build a big one and then it's more expensive than you need for the smaller stuff or do I come out with two chargers? So we finally settled after a lot of debate that we're gonna design two chargers. One that's about a 33 watt and one that's a 65 watt. So the 65 watt handles the bigger things, the 33 watt handles the smaller things and everybody's gonna be happy. Then the connection was a question. Do we do USB-C or do we do USB-A? Well, the industry's heading towards USB-C, so we decided the chargers have to have a USB-C port on it, which makes it easier for all the new things that are coming out that have a cable that terminate in a USB-C. So that was an easy question to answer. The third one was a little bit trickier because the charging style, there are three basic charging styles on the market to charge these type of devices. There's the old school standard USB, which is five volts at typically two amps or two and a half amps. And it's a straight five volts. It just fires electrons at a device and charges it as quickly as it can. But it's evolved past that. So technologies like QC or quick charging came out, PD power delivery came out. So Android devices use some of those technologies. Apple devices use others. This gear here uses different styles of QC and PD. So do we settle on PD, settle on QC, what do we do? So I said, I want both. I want both in the charger. And they said, well, that's gonna be tricky. That's gonna make it a lot harder. I'm like, well, we gotta do it because customers are gonna have QC devices. They're gonna have PD devices. I wanna be able to charge everything. I don't wanna have to have any compromise in that charger. So they sat down and we went through so many different design changes. We've, I've got some of the prototypes in front of me. We probably had seven or eight different styles of chargers built. And we work with a lot of manufacturers and they'll take our specifications. They'll build the form factor that we've designed. They'll build it to the same size we want, the same color. We want folding prongs, non-folding prongs on the end, the current, the voltage, the type of technology. And we really were just about ready to launch one about six or seven months ago. But then another big thing changed. If you've heard about new chargers that are coming out that are called GAN, it's capital G, small a, large N. It's gallium nitride. Now, gallium nitride technology has been around for a while. LED displays were made with it back, you know, 10 years ago, but it's just recently started to move into the charger space. So now we have a dilemma where we have a charger ready to go that's not a GAN charger that we were going to build and then, you know, brand it as Drone Valley and sell it through the website. The challenge is I'm feeling bad because I know this GAN technology is taking over and GAN technology in general is a way better technology. Now I could spend an hour talking about it, but essentially chargers and electronics in general have been based on silicon since the beginning of time. It took over as a transistor from vacuum tubes to transistors that are based on silicon. GAN is a new type of technology that replaces silicon and where it becomes incredibly good is in chargers because the two challenges that silicon chargers have or that type of technology has is that it's not efficient. So you're wasting a lot of electrons converting AC to DC. And more importantly, all that work that's going on generates a lot of heat. So they have to be bigger chargers and they can't really be as efficient. And the bigger they get, as far as power goes, the bigger they get physically. So what GAN technology does is because it's more efficient, you can put a bigger charger in a smaller package and you're generating less heat, which is a good indication that you're not wasting electricity. So if you're frugal about electricity bills, GAN chargers are gonna save you a lot of money compared to a, a standard charger. So now we have the decision of like, okay, we're gonna build it as a silicon charger. Now GAN came out, I want a GAN charger. I wanna build a GAN charger. Well, initially those chargers were astronomically expensive. I couldn't justify three times the price for the GAN version versus the, the silicon version. So we waited it out. And of course, as production ramped up, more companies got involved and our manufacturers kind of settled down about the excitement about GAN, the prices came down. So we finally reached a point about three months ago where the price was right, the form factor was right, and the technology was right, and we started producing the chargers. And I have two chargers that we finally came out with. 
This is the 65 water. And this is the 33 water. Now, I could do the dramatic thing they do on all the infomercials and sweep all these chargers into a garbage can, but I'm not going to do that. But these guys replace all the chargers you have out there today, all the way up to a 65 watt charging cycle. And what's really interesting about these two chargers, and they're both branded Drone Valley because they're our products, is that the 33 water is perfect for smaller things. So if you've got a brand new iPhone, if you've got a Mini 3, that charger will handle it no problem. It's a PD charger. It's got a single USB-C port in the end. Plug it into a wall outlet, plug the USB-C cable into a charge to your heart's content. The cool thing is that will fast charge the drone, batteries in the uh, charging hub. It'll fast charge the smart control. It'll fast charge the RCN1. Uh, it, it's really the perfect one for smaller drones. The 65 water, which is probably a little cooler, has got a flip out plug in the end. It's nice and slim. It's small. But again, 65 watts at a charger this size. Now to give you some comparison, here, here, was, here was one of the generations for a 90 watt charger. Now, <laughs> look at the difference, silicon versus GAN. 65 watts, 90 watts. We're not building this one. It's too big and clumsy. So this is the one we're going with. Now, the other cool thing about this larger charger was I threw more challenges on them. I said, look, if we're going to build a powerful charger like this, I'm going to want a USB-C port on it that can deliver pure 65 watts so I can charge my drone, my controller, my batteries. I also want a couple of other options on there. I want another PD charging port right there, another USB-C port that I can use at a standard 15 watts where it's 5 volts at about 3 amps so I can charge something else while I'm fast charging that. And there's a lot of customers out there that have older cables that have a USB-A connection on it. I want a port on there that does QC over USB-A. So this is a little more complicated because the first thing you plug in adapts to whatever charging technology the device is that you've plugged into it. So if you plug into the PD port and you've got a PD device, it's going to adjust and accommodate for PD. The other ones are going to become dumb and they're just going to be 5 volts at 3 amps. If you plug into the QC port, same thing happens. It'll adjust for the QC connected device. The other two become dumb. They're only 15 watts each, 5 volts at 3 amps. So it'll charge multiple devices, which is great. And you might be thinking, well, gee, this could be overkill for my smaller devices, but it really isn't because this product connected up to this charging hub will fast charge the charging hub and it'll also charge the smart controller at the same time. And you're thinking, yeah, but 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 it's not gonna fast charge the smart controller, but think about that a second. These are gonna take quite a long time to charge because they're gonna walk through the batteries. In the time it takes to charge your batteries in the hub, you'll fully charge that smart controller. So you plug in two cables and you're off and running. Now I wanna do some demos here because I like doing that kind of hands-on thing. And we, we tested this extensively. so. All the smart controllers can fast charge. The new RC controller can fast charge. I can charge the drones fast charge. I can charge the Skydio drone fast charge. I can even charge the Mavic 3 batteries in their hub fast charge, which I think is absolutely amazing. But that was the design criteria I threw at the design team here at Drone Valley to make sure we could do all this stuff. And this is the result of what we came up with. So these two chargers have different purposes. I'll start with the smaller one. And again, this is perfect for the Mini 3, the Mini 2, the Mini SC, the original Mavic Mini. If you have an iPhone or an iPad that uses a PD cable, this will fast charge it. So the charger itself has a PD connection on it, USB-C. I'll plug it in here. And I'll show you just for starters, we'll do the battery hub. Let me put the third battery in there real quick. So here's the, I've been backwards. Here's the battery hub. So the minute I plug it in, it handshakes with the battery hub. It's looking for the battery that needs the least amount of charge, and it's decided that's the battery it's gonna charge. There you go, it's fast charging. So it works great. One-on-one, -on -one, it's perfect. If you wanna hang the smart controller or the RC off the end of it with another USB-A cable, you can do that as well. So it'll charge the batteries and charge the controller. I'll show you that it'll charge the controller fast as well. So I'll plug in the controller. Now this doesn't need much of a charge, so hopefully it's gonna start strobing, but you'll see it'll strobe fast. There you go. So it's fast charging the controller. So that small one is less expensive. If you're just looking for a quick way to charge your batteries for the Mini 3, even in the drone or in the in the smart uh, charger here, the charging hub, uh, that's the charger to go with. And again, we designed that specifically to handle the lower current devices, like the new iPhones, all the way up through the largest one they make, the iPads, uh, the mini products, and smaller drones like the Anafi and some of the other drones that charge off USB. All right, so that's the 33 water. Now let me show you the 65 water because that's a it's another cool product here. So this one's got a nice little flip out in the end, and you might be wondering about the form factor on this because most of the chargers that are 65 watt GAN are more square. They're more of a, a rectangle, kind of a square. And the challenge I have with that design, and we kind of built a couple of those, is that it takes up more than its fair share of the outlet. So when you plug in one of those larger kind of square chargers, it actually impedes the ability to plug something in above it. I like this kind of form factor because I can plug it in and I've still got complete use of that outlet above it. I'm not gobbling up all the space on that wall outlet. So there's the 65 water. The top USB-C up here 
is the 65 watt port. Now, just to tease you a little bit, these are monster batteries off the Mini, uh, the Mavic 3. These things are massive. And normally you would need an external charger that was specifically built for these. But this 65 water, I'll plug it to the side. Same thing is gonna happen. You're gonna see it handshake. Did I plug it in? Yes, I did. Okay, it's gonna handshake with the batteries. And as soon as it makes a decision on which battery to charge, it's gonna start fast charging them. So there we go, we're fast charging the batteries. And it's gonna walk through the batteries and charge them in order based on least amount of charge first. So that's the first thing it'll do. Now let's take a look at the smart controllers. Uh, you can use this with the smart controller from the Mini 3 as well. And that'll fast charge that. So just a second as it's making the adjustment, it's handshaking for the PD, and there you go, fast charging. I can also charge generation one smart controller fast. So this is the original smart controller. And you can see it takes a second to adjust and boom, it goes right into fast charging mode. So that's great. Here's the new RC Pro, which is the second generation of smart controller. And immediately it hand shook with that and it's ready to rock and roll. So that's good. And here's the Skydio just to finish off the set here. Uh, Skydio, which is a real challenge, man. That Skydio when it first came out was like impossibly hard to find a charger to charge that. And right now it's charging the charging the battery. So you can see it's actually charging it. If you had a charger that couldn't throw enough electrons at this, that battery would go black and it wouldn't charge. So that one charger can handle all of your drone requirements. It can handle the bigger iPads. It can handle the iPhones. It's smart enough to adjust the current and voltage for the appropriate device that you connect to it. So it's got some brains built into it and it's gonna safely and quickly charge those devices. Now beyond that, uh, we thought more about how do, we, how do we make this as universal as possible? So both of these chargers, we're offering them as separate items. You can buy them. If you've got cables you want to use with them, you're good to go. The one thing I will caution you about though is the 65 watt outlet on that requires a really heavy duty cable like this one that'll deliver the 65 watts to the device you're charging. Because I've had customers ask me about using older cables. Some of the USB-C cables can handle 65 watts. They're really designed for 30 watts or less. So they're probably okay for like an iPhone. But if you're trying to charge thirsty batteries, a laptop, a big uh, tablet, and the cable is small, just think about connecting a really thin hose to your outlet outside. You're not gonna get a lot of water through that hose. We offer this with a heavy duty USB-C cable as part of a charging kit. So both of these we're offering a separate charger so you can pick up a charger, plug it in and use the cables you have. But if you wanna get a heavy duty cable for them, we offer it as a kit. So the kit includes the cable, which is USB-C to USB-C. This is a custom design cable by us. It's heavy duty. It's got a cloth woven exterior. It's got heavy duty uh, resistance on the end of it. So we've got strain relief built in, but it's USB-C to USB-C. It's about a meter long. But the kit also includes adapters, like I've talked about before in the channel. Because let's say, for example, you're trying to charge um, you're trying to charge that controller uh, from one of these one of these chargers. So you've got a USB cable. It's USB C to USB C. Oh, that's a USB A. Hold on a second. Sorry. USB C to USB C. So you plug this in over here. Then you're thinking, well, gee. I'd love to charge my older Mavic Air 2 or my original Mavic controller, but that takes a micro USB on the side. What am I gonna do? Well, we include three adapters with the kit that'll convert the USB-C, in this case, to a micro USB, just by popping that on. You can plug that into the side and then make sure you get it in there the right way. Plug that into the side and you can start charging that. So the universal kit includes the cable, these three adapters, uh, there's two adapters. One is a micro USB, which turns the USB-C into a micro. The other one is a USB-C to Apple. So if you've got an Apple device, I've got a standard lightning connector here. And there's a third adapter included. And the reason we included this adapter was because, again, I'm always throwing challenges at this team. I said to him, well, what if a customer buys this and they've got the old style cable, like this one, where they've got a ton of these sitting around the house. Not that one. <laughs> I'll get it yet, I promise. That one. So they've got a USB-C to USB-A. They've got a lot of old USB-A cables around. Well, I can't plug that into the charger. Well, what we included was an adapter that converts this to a USB-C. So you can plug this into the charger and boom, you can charge using your own cable. So that kit includes the heavy duty USB-C to USB-C cable. It includes the USB-A to USB-C adapter, a USB-C to Apple adapter, USB-C to micro adapter, and we're also including this beautiful little pouch to keep everything organized. So you can, you can find these chargers on the website as just the charger, or you can find it with the charging kit, which again includes the cable, the adapters, and this nice little pouch to keep everything organized. And you can pick it up either way you want. Now, the other thing I had a challenge for the team around was pricing, because we're not making a lot of money on this technology. We love designing these kind of products. They're things we use ourselves. We recommend them to friends. And I searched around in the net, 
and prices are all over the place. And there's a lot of companies that are selling chargers that are labeled as GAN that aren't really GAN chargers. We bought a ton of them. We brought them in, cracked them open with a hammer, took a look inside, and they're blended GAN, which is sort of a silicon and GAN combination. With ours, they're pure GAN chargers. So these are using gallium nitride, which is the latest technology. They're gonna run really, really well for you. There's also a lot of knockoff chargers that are coming in that are like way lower in price. I don't know how they do it. I, I have to question whether they're really GAN chargers and they can deliver the current they want. But these will deliver 65 watts here to a single port, 33 watts over here to a single port, and they're really the perfect companion to all of your portable devices to charge pretty much anything you need to charge at home. And we have plenty of them in stock. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any questions about anything I've got here on the table, and there's a ton of tech here on the table, drop them in the comments below, and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. I love solving problems like this because I'm feeling like if I'm home and I'm having a challenge, I'm sure other people out there are as well, and I'm lucky that I work with a, a talented group of people, both men and women, that love technology, love flying, love new gear, and are up for the challenge of saying, hey, I've got a problem, can we solve it? Can you guys help me solve this problem? And that's where we got these two chargers from. So that's all I really had for today. So until next time, thanks again for watching, and happy flying. Mm -hmm.